Agreed. Expect sabotage. Plenty of it. I've read what you gave to me. And if that is true, expect sabotage. I have not briefed my son yet on that aspect of things. So on the cart right there, it might be best if you do. He's aware. Very good. Excellent. He knows of him. This is a very tedious matter. We must act as if we do not know for now. I will be up in the keep, tending to the duties that I have been requested of. Upon your return, I ask that you send the sergeant to notify me. Of course. I have not asked this of the Baron. But Marco is one of the Redard soldiers here that can be trusted. Five horsemen on standby. If there's some sort of emergency, fast riders will be sent to you. Just need word to get back. So it doesn't come to that, shall we? There will be a wagon on the port side waiting for you. It has a singular cage in it, Major. There is a raven that will come straight here if you let it out. Only do so in an emergency. Got it. Good to know. With that, my role here is over. I wish you all luck, Lady Heidemann. I wish you luck. Because if this turns out poorly, it will be poor for all of us. Ensure the safety of the Lady Heidemann, and of course, follow whatever instructions are giving. Of course. Very good. Good luck, gentlemen, lady. Of course, we need a right cart. Easiest well, like you said, the there's a cart by the port. I need Let's to get go and off. Actually, it'll probably be best if I'm not carrying a shield. If I look like I'm meant for battle instead of doing well, my role, and look silly. I could hold it for you, and in case of a fight, I could hand it to you. Uh, should I bring a rifle, yes, sir? We're not going to need it. Or is that unnecessary for this? Understood. Um, bring it, just in case. Understood. <clears throat> Hold on to this. It's pretty light. There you go. You may have to remind me of this potential Off threat. I don't know. That you talked about on the way there. If Baronum is trying to maintain Valerno, it's quite possible his brother will yes. not want him to. Ah, I see. To destabilize the province. I understand. Knowing what we know, it is more than likely. Mm -hmm. Now you know. We are hoping to return it's... with the town in <clears throat> hand. Wish us luck. Hopefully. A third of my Thank students you. are from Valerno. And they failed their exams. Don't burn it down while we're gone, fight. please. I'll burn it down whenever I damn well please. <sighs> Great. Never did finish those lessons, did we? By chance, have you been to Belano yet, Major? We got as far as we could. No, I think. but I've heard the stories and tales. Right up on its layout. It's a decent enough place. The people there are good. A bit rough around the edges, but can't necessarily blame them. <laughs> so no life's different been... than the people of Nordis. Aye, life's been hard for them lately. I I got to know uh, some of the local militia though. Uh, a few weeks back, I helped them fend off some of the robber baron's men who attacked. <sighs> Good. But this was then for the about a month and a half ago, back during the Capitano's days. If the kids don't have them weren't motivated to do their exams, I can already tell them demeanor about the parents are going to be. To do, we shall do. Hmm. Obviously, they have <coughs> some resentment. Right. It was emulated through their children that the didn't back. want to do schoolwork. Oh, well, we should sit up front for Fiderman. We'll see. Thank you, Fancy Major. Fancy up front, brute from the back. <laughs> 
think I'm not brutish, sir. If you want to drive. <clears throat> I can, if you wish, lady. You may. <laughs> I wish you too. I will then. Trusted bodyguard. <sighs> you wouldn't mind. It's a work horse, not a war horse, so do be careful. One of us opened the gate, right? Or is that still mm. closed? I think it'll open any it. second. Any I second. It. I, I got no. it. It's not... No. I don't have telekinesis, ma'am. I got it. Not yet. <laughs> Somebody told me this courier which is very nice. unstable. Uh, is anyone carrying anything? The shield? I am it's not carrying... a real shield. Oh, I know what it is. Goodbye. Why <laughs> <laughs> to win? No <clears throat> should be in. on a trip, remember? Ah, oh, but Ludwig asked for one. Are we ready? Bring it sure, I can't get some fish bones. Bag. Ready to go. We're ready. Ready as we're ever going to be. Be a nice seashell. Major, is it just me, or did we go a little overboard with the flags? It's a bit much. That's true. I have to make sure people know where we are. Oh, yeah. I think they can tell. Think about it, Sergeant. Once we're done with this, in days time, one of those ships will be further up the channel. Get a proper Good luck. Yeah. I would ask Dario that you let me do the majority of the talking if you can. The populace will, of course, be very unrest as I school a third of my class is from Balerno. The other half from Cassetto. Then, Lady Hardiman, consider me nothing more than an armed bodyguard for this incursion. However, the sergeant did state he has good relations with the militia captain. Then I would suggest he maintain said relations, but if things get riled up, we should leave and not provoke. If they make the decision to allow a brigand to march on in, then they sow the fate of their children who they lead by example. I will try and stress that point. If that is the man they want to be an example for their children or who comes after, then I've done my duty wrong as a teacher. Um, actually, uh... Uh... Hells, I don't think I ever learned your name. Um... I know it's in there somewhere. Blacksmith's assistant. Lord Blacksmith's Earnhardt, yes. Blacksmith's assistant. That's you. He's Sorry. Lord, Sergeant. My apologies. But that's actually <laughs> what I wanted to ask about. You're his son? Correct. Does that mean your mother was a... Uh, or... Forgive me for assuming anything, but how, how did that come to be? My business is my own, Sergeant. Is it this turn or the next one? I can't remember. Fair is fair. It is this turn. There's blood. Watch it. Mm. Never a good uh. sign. Seems like every person in this town has a long story behind them. Well, hmm. Fresh That's blood. Dead. Not a good sign at all. Watch the trees. Yeah, I was about to say myself. If we get in a fight, I'm making our way to Bologna. I'm not stopping. Well, it means good decision. We have a militia there, and, well, we have some capable fighters with us. No, 
that hill line will be my concern. Seeing the terrain in person is a whole different story. God forbid if we can't take this place. Yeah. There'll be a picket fence here. Careful not to go into it. We lose this. Consider the war almost already lost. The Lord Baron controls these lands, controls most of the open area. And we'll have to fight him in places he does not like us. Well then, let's hope this venture is successful. All the way down. Come to that. There you go. We'll pull in toward the left here. Is there a yeoman here? Sharp swords. Look pretty. Sorry. Should be. Oh, well, that's not too as you pull me, so. into the town of Balerno, it's as quiet as you expect. There seems to be people here and there coming and going. No one seems on alert or even fearful. In fact, it seems almost idyllic. But it is clear that there are fewer people here than there should be for the amount of houses, losses suffered in what you now know as the Balerno Massacre. <coughs> and as you enter, some of the townsfolk look warily over their shoulders or look towards you, but continue doing what they're doing. As you look, you hear the name called, you recognize the militia captain. What brings captain, you to our it's been too long. Town? Not too much. Hopefully good tidings. How have things been so far? To be honest, not good at all. <sighs> we haven't gotten any aid from the Radad still. Things aren't looking up whatsoever. When were you expecting any signs of movement in the distance? Anytime soon. Things are beginning worse lately. The orcs and such. I believe it. Hope will be consoled in the days to come. Perhaps today. Have you seen any it robber baron activity me. close by lately? Around here and there. Hopefully after the day things will be better. Uh, you have an established uh, yeoman around. Captain. Why do we tolerate this layabout? Yeah, yeah. Yeoman. Where's he going? Every, every day. Yeah. <coughs> it's hurt. I have my hair The Almond's been missing for quite a while. No one knows where he's been. Is he? Right. Understood. If anything you'd else, allow me, I'd like to. I'd like to introduce my companions here. Uh, I think you may know uh, Lady Heidemann. Uh, the Major Dario and uh... Lord Erhard. Apologies. Pleasure. I'm all right. Pleasure. Uh, we've been sent here as a delegation for possibly sending aid here. Yes, yes, and you don't do so much. How things are going to be done, I feel like we would need a garrison at this rate. Allow me. 
As per eight, there was no intention of bringing eight until now that we have been sent. No prep work has ever come. It was never done. That doesn't surprise me. Her gods haven't been good for anything. It would seem M.M. had no intentions. And that is where we come in. Because you have a strategic position directly behind the Imperial Embassy. Patrols are going to be regular at some point, going to and from along the beachhead or toward the wood line. Aid can come in this form. It is a possibility. But I need to know one or two things, because it will determine the outcome of whether this province falls or survives. There have been rumors circulating that individuals and children from my school that reside here, speaking that for whatever reason, this town may choose to side with the Roller Baron at Vasco Bomain, the tyrant who betrayed the dynasty. It is true. The Radads have offered us no aid. We've asked many times. The Baron Amem massacred our people. The Robber Baron has done no such thing to us. Do you wonder why no aid has come? No caravans of food, no nothing. I'd assume it's because the barons are incompetent. Well, that incompetence is stemmed from the good Adasco Beaumain deciding to choke the province dry of everything it has. So, no, shipments can't come in to the main keep or to main Nodis province and can't be sent down here. Because there are none. The robber baron wasn't the one that massacred our town. It was the baron of men. The robber baron's the one that had massacred a bunch of merchants in the street. And caravans that attempted to get through to aid the province. He's a murderer and a tyrant. As you say this, the militia captain's eyes go from you to the Imperials next to you. It seems to be contemplative for a moment. You can tell on his face there is both concern and deep-seated distrust, but when he looks towards Sanders, he seems to be a bit more at ease. You can tell there's still a standoffish feeling there. He'll have to be a little bit more aggressive to change his mind. I don't know what else to convince you otherwise, good captain. But once Adasco has what he wants, which is to set up a garrison here, within Belerno, what is to stop him from choking you of all your supplies and feeding his current brigand army with all your good fish, scallops you get from the sea? What happens to the people here when he cannot fulfill his promise of protection? As he has not protected a single merchant or peasant he has come across. He has slaughtered them. Have we been protected so far? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. <sighs> Unfortunately, I think the risk is worth it. We cannot fight him off if we wanted to. We are nothing but fishermen with sticks. About 13 of us. It would be better for us to let him take the town peacefully. Peace is not an option. This is why Adasco left and stole money from the keep and stole half the garrison. He has taken what is not his. He is a criminal. If you are seen supporting such a man, what is to stop a mem from a second run? Then there will be no excuse. I'm trying to avoid that, which is why I've brought the Imperials here. Because hopefully, with their support, you might not need 
Adasco's garrison of brigands and ruffians, but capable soldiers with years of experience. As much as the viewpoints are different and vary within the Empire, one thing is that currently the most primary objective, and that is the security of the province for the Redans. As you finish this statement, making your points, Claudia, the militia captain, kind of tips his eyes over, looking at the makeshift spear to his right, oh. taking your words to heart. And now she'll see if you've convinced one of the voices of yeah, this town. Careful, careful, Harvey. But I'm fine. With a two, two minus two. The militia captain seems to hear what you're saying, and he doesn't disagree with all the points made, but you see him just close his eyes and shake his head. He does not seem convinced that the Radads, regardless of Imperial assistance, will do what needs to be done. He seems to want to bring it's the conversation to a close. It's too much of a risk. I don't want to talk about this anymore. The Burnamim has wronged us too much. Then I will not pressure the others, you But I will not assist. Very well. Keep on keeping on. Indeed, all people that talk to. As you listen to the crunch of the sound beneath your shoes as the sand spills over them, and you hear the words of the most captain in your head over and over. You know it's understandable for him to have the stance he has. They don't see the bigger picture, they don't understand what will happen if Adasco takes control. The others must be made the same reason. Lady Heidemann, if I could recommend... Maybe they focus less on telling them what a mem did, and focus more on telling them what we can provide. I think that may be a bit better. The captain saw empty promises. What's to say they don't see we have to ensure then that our promises are not empty. Well, why is there one back here? Because uh, there's empty oh, so there's back there. Indeed. Uh, All these individuals are uh, working. Can see you right back. Uh, we're off to our right. Unoccupied. Not even napping. Then we'll ask her. Not even noon! Come on, man. Always a good time to drink. Oh, hey. Status of the town. Uh, 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 hey. How is your liver not. <laughs> huh? That makes me feel better, that's why. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. What she meant to say time. is. Good morning. Oh, like May we have a moment of your well, time. Fully ma agree. Grace, uh, uh, sure. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see, need for the I'm Miss Ladia. I teach the school in not as proper. So, several of the children here. I've heard rumors circulating in my own classroom as well as in Notis that the good town of Belerno would seem to be becoming more favorable to the Robber Baron more and more each day. Why is this? Uh. Hey, between the water barons and no offense to you two, but we don't really see eye to eye with the water barons, but mostly with these two. I'm guessing that's why a lot of people want to side with the robber baron. I'm not too sure. I ask you this, out of concern. Your eyes drift around the, the town. The Baron has a very The words bad of the diplomat to your side One kind of melding into the background. You're listening, but it's not your main focus. Any further. 
I have keep here an eye on the two good imperial the men. Some of the people you wish to start here. routine patrols if necessary. You're almost certain you saw something a few moments ago. So that can be protected from the orcs. Someone of wearing a black hood. The Royal Baron's men. Up in the top area of the town, but, but you didn't quite make it. It would out. seem the people of this town could do be not anyone. You do the same thing, but they would see you don't fit take chances. To Support a tyrant who has murdered peasants and merchants on the street. With a the 15, Tyler, you don't think there's any uh, immediate danger, a but there is most certainly very someone watching it. Word Whether it's amongst here. the townsfolk, say, one of the um, windows, someone is watching people, your delegation. And basically, everybody don't You're support sure of that. the rubber barons, but they don't trust the Imperials either. Perhaps I could add some insight to this. Imperium is here to do a Maybe job. Maybe he can help? Please. Please. <laughs> Lady Hardeman. If I might yes. recommend, perhaps we should take this inside. All right, madam. Take your time. A fantastic start. Oh, there's no door. You would know that this is I sufficient will look cover the other way. Like I'm sure this is fine. I'm more about the sun. Yes, what is it? Uh, what kind of wood Definitely is it? being watched from somewhere, being overheard. We should be okay from being here. Not. Watched. I clean it up myself. Oh, so, so drift and not in the towns for well, the Up home. This should be okay for now if you want to talk to him, but oh, yes, all things doesn't feel right. Black cloaks. <sighs> right. Good day, sir. What is your Allow name? Allow me to introduce. Then let me be the first one I'm the lander. I was a former chamberlain of uh, this town. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Things have changed as of recently, as you can see. Indeed, it is most grave these times. Especially a time where children will soon see a tyrant outside their doors. I know, uh... Pretty decent woodwork something I do not, not wish to make something nice out of As that. that is no <laughs> example to set. But, my lady, I do agree. I will be blunt. Forgive me. But a bastard, though, such as the Rava Banner, an upstart like him, should be expected. Something like that. Should not be a ruler or leader of any way, shape, or form, as it has caused calamity across the land. Not only him, we're dealing with the orcs. Indeed. I will say, it's not for me. We ourselves do not actually have the means to prevent that. Of course, I am not in a position of power to make that mode. But I might see if the woodwork can make an artist's teeth out of it. Regardless. I have been an avid believer to attend to. We think for a dart for some time when I was chamberlain. May I uh, have your name, uh, ma'am? Uh, yes. With everything going on, if there was a way to communicate with the Rodards, a dedicated courier or a caravan from the Rodards, in mean, the common go, if supplies, I hope you have a blessed day. and word, you if you have provided the means. Would you be able to convince at least some no, of the townsfolk to not to. make bargains or treat the robber baron if he is treated? Mm. I cannot school these children going to and from Balerno as it will not be safe anymore. It will not be safe for them to even go outside their doors. My lady, since we are living here, we know the dangers, and children, of course, are priority. But, to be honest, the entirety of the town. If there is a way to feed information, keep this town safe from the robber baron, I would not say no to it. However, I am quite wary of Imperials. 
don't want to dig up more than I have to. Now, if you have a solution, could keep us safe. So we do not have to turn to the robber baron out of fear. Order that I thought it was. Aye, sir. Then I will do whatever I can to aid in whatever it is you're trying to do. Very well. I do have two men of the Empire here who have been sent if to establish to get... connections, relief forces. If we were to, to the point of even training a militia, one is willing. Major Dario, the new major of the embassy, neighbors but you. That can be for later. He comes to and fro most every day. The idea is to send a patrol force down here on a regular basis. And needed supply if necessary. But no supply is going to come if the robber baron owns this beachhead. We could even ferry it down with boats if necessary if we had a lighthouse. Hey. But we won't have a lighthouse. Pardon? The explanation that you're giving to the former anything. Chamberlain his eyes seem closed, and he seems more receptive than the militia captain. Listening very careful to things you're saying, <clears throat> his speech pattern and the way he talks seems to be that of a, a learned man. And so you at least feel your words are being considered with gravitas. You need something, good sir? Well, uh, you're Imperial men, right? One would say. <laughs> Well, My lady, well, if you have an adamant solution, well, uh, one of the families yes, in the house is guaranteed, wanted to give you guaranteed, freshly brewed, uh, ensure that our town is safe. Supplies, uh, caravan, well, courier, you've been doing some good in this can problem. be sent back to Mortis so we can keep in contact Gee. with the Redards still. What about you? Even though I've already mentioned. Uh, sorry, I don't we drink need on to the make job, sure. So. My deepest uh, people of Garadia, even it's Bologna, just tea, but, but the barriers are like. still taking after us. Of course. Taking care of us. I know you mentioned the Imperial. This town has been... Take away. Sorry, I... I... I buy both the barriers. Must pass. Take the gifts, <laughs> Anders. Yes. Apologies. I know. Herbs locally picked. There is a level of faith I do have with them. Uh, what type of tea leaf? Most yes, where have you married? Ah, they wouldn't say. Apparently, mm. they have their own private patch. Uh, I'm old. The family I work with. Most definitely Some comes in the nerves. Deal with the cards Especially for now, these times. For the longest time. Tyler with an eleven plus two. I've con I'm considering your A work. A bead of Eric. sweat goes down that way. You offer to train people who could defend Next themselves. Next right eye. Thank you for the gift. All right. Let's consider it. Ah, question. Yes. Taste your own tea. Yeah, proof it. Biggest concern that is if we were ever at siege by this. Of course, bear. I've tasted it well before. As for the biggest fear, they we will swarm us. If they us. swarm you, you border the embassy. Bombs up the body. It is my hope that by forming a guaranteed alliance. Thank you. Do not backtrack and treat the robber baron. Uh, I'll see you then these good imperials can go back and forth without the roads being owned by the robber baron's men. Thus being able to keep this little cove safe. We wouldn't even need to use the rope for Skittish supplies. As fuck. We can ferry the supplies it. down through the rimba. Do you want to sniff the river, it? Crossing down there. <laughs> not that good. And do you trust, trust this major? <laughs> His breeches are too tight for him. But he is capable of many things in times of need and war. And I don't think you'll find a better fighter here. No. <clears throat> There is not a better fighter here. He is firm. But I am the acting diplomat on behalf of him. Which is why I'm doing the talking. Mm. 
Lady Laudia, correct. Sure. Rolling. I know you have much. I know you have much. <clears throat> I know you want to convince me. I hear your words, truly. Two things are so going to happen, so. Kyler. <clears throat> when you inhaled with a two, there is going to be a horrendous burning. Very good. In your okay. sinuses. To to You're going to feel it all the way down the back of your throat. Your eyes are going to water. And the only reason why this doesn't do anything harmful to you is because this poison needs to be ingested or splashed across your face. You're holding tea that's been mixed with malice. With the natural Physician being voided. Had that made contact with you physically, you would be dying right now. Some of the greatest listeners are the ones who read. True. <coughs> but when you reach my age, things <laughs> can be tiring. It's a malice. So I try she to look out him. for the best. I trust your instinct. He's very tired all the time. We gotta go. Thank you for your time. Mm. <clears throat> of course. Finishes Ladia right. with a 17 minus like two. You feel that you have successfully made the man see your train wow. of thought. At least the former Chamberlain, who is a recognized voice here, might be able to turn the heads of a fraction of the people. But you do remember from previous visits that there's some woman that's in charge of the fishermen and the netters and of course the lighthouse keeper that's just the two other important <coughs> voices that you know of lady hydeman we should be considered the hostile they, talk to you, what is it? they just tried to poison the imperials with malice someone here doesn't want us here I will keep that in mind. As you wish, my lady. Question. Does my bonus affect the modifier at all? Considering that that person in particular is not from Nautis proper. No. Okay. Wait a minute. I recognize you. I want him white. You are looking for. What were you looking for again? You were you. A bunch of bottles hit the ground as a man begins gesturing in your direction. I came here to feed a lot of people not too long ago. Not come here for anything, though. <coughs> yes. There's another type of. Oh, well. How does he afford all these bottles? Do you know? I have my way. I have bottles hidden everywhere. I have bottles in the sand. I'm looking for the you heard. net weaver and the, drow was the lighthouse keeper. Do you know where they are? Someone tried to poison you. Probably oh, near the nets. You know that that was. Fine, near the shore. That's where she mostly spends. Acidic in nature. Uh, well, why are you near the island? Are you getting us more food? You need to talk to him about a matter of great importance. It concerns the town. Whether it succeeds no, or I'm for the town. does not. What's, what's going on with the town? <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing that you can worry your very tired brain about. My tired brain? Oh, have you? <laughs> uh, I, I, oh, hey. you know, I am very I'm in mind. I am not tired. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll be Back Thanks, Javier. They are no peace. No, the anger, no the lighthouse keeper more than likely be at the lighthouse. I, Correct. I'm not Something else occurs to you. Yeah. You saw him drink the tea. Mm. Means they have antidotes as well. She is. 
Good day, madam. Moment of your time. Can I can I help you? A word, if you would. It concerns the tongue. <sighs> Fine. Fine, whatever. See how we were almost poisoned when the devil's poison the man. You are one of the more note. Double individuals in town, as you weave the nets, you are considered vital, and thus have a great speaking role. I need help. What do imperials and nobles want with me in this town, huh? What? Why? Why do you need our help for one? Hmm? Need your help to not. Allow a tyrant to run this village. A tyrant? Really? A f and who, who's that? Hmm? Adasco Beaumain, the robber baron. Shouldn't be wasting your time His eyes have taken an interest. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking waste of time. Castellan was always a good man. He's always a good man. He yeah. fucking broke away, became who he was. It's for good reasons. <laughs> I know that a mim's past transgressions have left a stain on the town <laughs> and a stain on him. But I'm not here uh, stain because on... of a mim. <laughs> stain Those in the boys. Stain. <laughs> that doesn't wash out. Like I said, I'm not here to ask for an apology on a mim's behalf. I'm here because a third of my students that go to my school in not his proper will not be able to come to my school once the robber baron owns this plot of land. <laughs> school. Stupid. You're the teacher. I am the teacher of 30 students from Cassetto, Balerno, and not as proper. I think my son went to your school once. He was still alive. I am sorry. Those boys... <sighs> for everything that they have done... <laughs> to Balerno, it's people... My family, my son. Why, why should I support them? I understand that you're you're trying your best here, Mace. You, you really are. <laughs> but I'd Bro, what the fuck is it? Deal with the robber baron, <laughs> than deal with two pompous individuals who. <sighs> Don't give a f two shits about us here. Seek help from the devils. <laughs> the robber baron, as much as he may seem to outstretch his hand for aid in securing this beachhead against orcs, or to make give you supply lines to go back and forth between the border. I know for a fact that this will not be the case. Because there have been several occasions where the robber baron has not only murdered merchants, but civilians. Look, the robber baron has... <sighs> we Please. know who you are. I kind of consider you've been here a few times. If been good to Martha's children and to some of my friends own. But we don't forgive their dads for what they've done. Neither of them. And to be completely honest with you, my own thoughts on it is for that man to have the goal to come here and kill our families over his own and then send these fucking things 
to try and win us over. I'm sure you're caught in the middle, too. Martha, whatever choice you make, lass, is up to you. I can't. As I said... <clears throat> Sorry. Today's been really rough. It's the last time I'm gonna be able to use the... the netting my son made. There's, there's no fixing it. Um... I don't... I'm sorry. I just... They've hurt here so much. They've, they've hurt people here. They've... Yeah. I don't want you to forgive, and then... <clears throat> In fact... I never want you to forget what he did. Ever. <sighs> he is not a perfect man. He is a young man. The robber baron is not a perfect man, but he is an old man. A mim. Once. To make right wrongs. He does. But he realizes that he cannot do it on his own. In Again, fact, that feeling do just doesn't go because away. Of the reputation he has. Town keeps hustling, why bustling. He me. People come and why he go. Sends Imperials. It because just feels like everybody and their mother an looks over in once in a while. Their flank. Analyzes you. Their embassy just over the wonders hill. what you're Save doing them. here. Maybe something more. You're okay. sure now someone here has it out for you and yours. I cannot guarantee a Malice support. is no fucking joke. And to be honest, I don't expect anything from him. Which makes you wonder. All I can offer is 20, 30, 40 good men. Where do they get it from? This area often. The people's disposition might be theirs. Mission. Sure. Imperial men. They might oh, hate yes. the Imperials. <laughs> Hey, there were dots. Imperial men. One and uh But malice? <laughs> nah, somebody had to give that to them. It's already bad enough. Nobody here made that. that. Uh, a lot of us can't even look a lot of them soldiers in the eye. <laughs> now you're bringing more plate. More... Pound and boot steps across our sands. Listen, miss. I, I understand what you're trying to do. I really do. But at this point, I'm just... They've hurt so much. And I know you don't want me to. Don't. You said that's fine, but I... I want to continue teaching, and I never want to have to charge at any point in time. Once a dasker reaches the walls of Nautis, there will be no schoolhouse anymore. My objective is to make sure it never Imperials, happens. Imperials, are you going to do anything here for once, or are you just going to stand around like you always do? That's the plan to help. But well, we're not, not going to force son, ourselves though. into a situation that we're not welcome, David. The woman <laughs> seems lost. We'll leave it while I see Uncertain, it. unsure. We'll the facade drops for a moment. You can tell she's terrified. She's lost her children, and likely whoever else was in her life. Due to no fault of your own. Careful. She weighs your words heavily. And considers the situation of the town. I... If... Fishing... She seems to be if resilient to get, at first. Feel like a lot of Uncertain. Almost as if she wants to acquiesce. With a seven plus two, passing the threshold of an eight by one. 
The woman seems to very slowly come around, still uncertain. You're sure if the wrong thing is said, her mind will instantly change again, but... If I told you bodyguard duty, would you believe it? She seems to agree. Something with that side this town? Say yes. I don't expect Imperials to do bodyguard work. Attaches. More like, but... I don't want to see anybody else's children not be able to equipment's learn. Equipment. All right. I don't want to see we'll anybody's take it off children have to be buried. Regulation. If you think... And I get in trouble. This is gonna do it, then so be it. You got, you, well. you got me. But... Fine. Uh, yeah, please, 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 please. We have enough problems in this town. We don't need other things shaking it up. I haven't broken it yet. Or should you on the contrary to try and help? Keep that record. All right. A good hide man, please. Then, now, um, then, I, I don't know. think you've been around the problem. I'll believe you for now. Sitting right over there waiting no, for you, No, but I've the heard of the issues. Alerno and help don't exactly mix. Please don't tell me we're still in case you noticed. Of course we are. Yes, Good to be taking some baron and all. Like every time mercenaries get sent here, people get slaughtered in this town anyway. <clears throat> well, we're not mercenaries. Come along. That means anything to you. No, your swords are bigger. Yeah, Bloody. Yeah. They were using yes. a poison that is very hard to come by. This isn't just random peasants that don't want you here. Someone is backing them. Someone. Maybe I have an antidote. A very strong antidote and testing kits to slow it down. At this point, I'm Maybe. expecting a fight at any point. Not if, but when. Then let us get this talk over with, so that patrols can start coming through the area and clear out these people watching us. I agree. Good day, sir. A moment of your time, if you would. Good day. Keller, you feel eyes in the back of your head. Your head whips around. You look down an alleyway, you see the figure of a woman, seemingly hooded. They seem to do a double take Ooh, in your direction. Apologies. I'm here to speak on the future of the town. And then disappear around the corner, Blair now, almost please. as if they were hesitating. Well, you know. You have to get out. Sorry. <laughs> Flayed fish. Paid the man fifty to cough out. So Based on what happened earlier, I wouldn't eat it until oh, later. So. What has brought me? Yeah. Are rumors. But they wanted us to get out. Of of I paid them for their time. Attempting to treat Adasco. I sniff a dog now. He has set eyes on this no. land, this cove you have. As it is a lighthouse. Nothing seems wrong with it. Be but that and properly feeling taken oh, care down of get your back, back does not go down. away. I think it's okay. Yeah, you, don't, you don't understand what's bothering you Blah, so much you about that. Under the yeah, it's weird behavior, you're sure. If somebody wants to kill you guys, but currently choking the province of all goods, that this bothers you a lot. Or may not. Why? Come down to Blair at some point, but can no longer make it. I like it, Hill. It's great. And it clicks. You and me both. The way they stood. For all I know, the robber baron's looking at us right hand now. On the hip. We just don't know it. How do I you can see from this distance a finger loops through is. the belt. Why we should probably be Shushin. watching the, uh, Where have you seen that before? Yeah. I'm sure some of the people here are plants. Trying to coerce the populace that he's the better choice, not us. We're showing that considered. the Baron brothers still care about this province. As you say, doesn't... The like the town is watching us like hawks. Well, Sergeant, it's probably your nose and the my facial features. Ah. Mm. At least of providing information. Here I thought it was the hat. City of North is still for one of its For the red and gold. It is my hope to establish. A trade route at some point with a regular Imperial patrol. As much as the town loathes Imperials. Not much are a fan, but there are good men that have the security of the province 
an interest solely in that, in their own best interests. They wish to assist, but I am finding it very hard to convince Udor to go tell me. I've gathered a few voices. Reach them. What I get out of it is safe passage so that I continue schooling. Not losing your edge, are you, boy? As a third of my students are from here. No. I would hate it Hope if not. It made it so that. God knows we're gonna need it. They couldn't walk freely in the streets. Or an example of a leader turned out to be Adasco Bomain and the parents of the said children start to praise the man that saved them. Saved them. <clears throat> this might get bad. He is murdered. He is killed. He has betrayed the dynasty. He is attempting control over the province. Well, Though it is worst case scenario, the card's been the completely dismantled or is killed. Why don't we out of the learner, we'll make it to the embassy, and figure out what we do from there. I need to know that. When we'll tell you one thing. To patrol, this town is not going to fall to the rubber baron no matter what. Through the roads, not they won't stand for a hostile takeover. They can stand for a hostile takeover if there's no one to resist it. Jesus Christ, Dario. So far, I'm too young. I was not Seems there. like not much has changed. And I don't know these people. The same attitudes that you know the man to have from the poor quarter. But he says it so freely now. You glance over in his direction, seeing the silver streaks at the temples of his head. He must have had to do quite a bit to achieve the position he's in, both either horrific or harrowing. It's not easy for to so easily say something like that. It all comes back to you that this man is very dangerous and very capable. Aye, sir. Good people. When we get back, I would have full count of the populace here, down to the last. Good. And so that Aye, sir. The definition of good, good. doesn't change. Should check the cart as well. Yeah. I want it to be. Hopefully, a men's reconciliation. So he can rectify his mistake. I know Jordan. he'll never be forgiven. Aye, sir. Check the card if you would. Make sure it's alright. Go, sir. And he still has time to learn from his mistakes. Dasko is old. Gritty. War fatigue. He will not spare what is to come. So is Major technically a step up? Speak like a true diplomat. Yes, consider to the Imperials and error than the Raking. It's not a noble title, what I once held, but it's always positive like that. I don't give a damn about that either way. They do bad things, they do good things, but what do you ask? It's curious. How many heads do you need to step on? However many they told me to do it. I believe if these people just be shown that you haven't changed much, have you? The brothers still care for them. As you say, the supplies have been Survival good. will do that to you, I suppose. Anything that the they can send here to show that they are still welcome will do much in Lucky you, you survived. Your words, seriously. I wouldn't call it luckily. It is why I am looking for you. Put the whole you damn keep on my fucking head to try and die. And longer, and your voice will carry longer than I guess longer. fate wants me to keep living. I've been here two years. Funny that. They have had a school for a year and taught their children. Don't worry, I'll kick the bucket soon and enough. I'm not their own, and I'm not guardian. I'm sure that'll make you happy. I could do what I can by myself. My own words. But unless the people see what 
But the boys who are leading this province take after the father, they may feel more resistant. But unless those steps are taken, it remains to see that many people here will be against them. Then let us assure it never happens. Though I know a man up. will not act if the learner uh -oh. does indeed attempt to. Hey, you are, uh, um, you lobster back, you red imperial. Uh, your friend's getting assaulted yes. over there. Might not to go help him. I'll go deal with this. Can you show me where exactly? Over there. You want me to walk My lady, it may be time to leave. Oh, no, have eyes, don't you, for fuck's sake? It may. Mm -hmm. I hope my words have reached you. Imperials, am I right? Not right now. Well, those people will be protecting you, hopefully. As you start to walk away, uh, the I hope not. Keeper, <coughs> you glance one more time at his face. Like any other color but the red they wear. And with a ten plus two. I'm not even a devil to fight a devil, my friend. While he has his reservations about the dynasty. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Sometimes you need a devil to my fight a baron. A devil. Would put this town in a worse mm. position. A majority need, uh, of the more positive voices. Less her two evil than my eyes. I've done what I can. I will tell. You hear shouting coming over from the wagon. Oi, what'd they talk to you about? Back. Hold on. What Time to leave. No. What happened? Ah, fuck! Local drunk exactly. smashed a bottle on my face when I was trying to tell him why we were here. It really fucking hurts. Okay. Yeah. Are you dying? It, That's a lot of blood. Really fun. My lady. Majorly hurts. I need an answer from Poppies. It looks like they're talking amongst themselves. I can only hope they come to a decision now, wherever they are going to have it. Ah, oh, can't fuck leave without fuck. an answer. We need to know that it's not going to fall when we send a patrol here next. Mm hmm. Sanders, can you probably call it, get it ready to go? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. Fuck. Is it everyone you wish to speak to, Adam? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just we need an answer. We can't leave without an answer. An answer. Has he not given you one? I have maybe three. Oh, damn it. Maybe three that listen to me that are the high spokespersons here. I don't know if that's enough. They have to talk about it amongst themselves. We wait for them to hold a town meeting, deliberate. but there is no Yaman. I will let them deliberate. In the meantime... Yes. Um, excuse me. Apologies for my friend. Oh, wait, I'm lagging. Okay. Apologies for my friend. <sighs> He's a bleeding all over the car, what? are you? I'm trying my best, sir. It is a head He's wound. He's a good man. Believe me. I can't it's really suck it back in. He's yeah. a good man. He doesn't... He'd spin that coin he uses... Well... ...to repair. I wasn't anticipating the drunk to just, you know, pull a quick draw on me and smash a bottle on my fucking head. Stage the cart. Ah. 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 And get it ready to but leave, Sanders. He doesn't trust it because... Yeah, like let me see if I can like figure that out with no depth perception. I'm sure you Let's know the some massacre that there is, shall we? You lost ah, someone very important. But I am no man. Uh, Lady Heidemann, can you give me that some clearance here? Turning around is gonna be a bitch and a half. <clears throat> sure. Why not? Excuse me. Uh, of course. Maybe 
three. Maybe Base. three of the four spokes, Pearsons. Where you go? Yes, Marsha. Martha, um... Martha, my butt. Keep me up to speed. I'm putting a lot of faith in you, and y'all. All of you. You understand? Back, back. Left now. If trouble comes to Blerna, you will be certain that the good Imperial medic you see before you will be there. Alright. I promise. Okay. That looks better than a hood. I'm gonna say that right now. Keep backing into that little crevice. Thank you, Martha. And stop. Have you dipped your hands Perfect. anywhere in that beach in that sand? Second guessing myself. What if they're just all in on it? You've done what you can then. What if they don't plan to? Well, hope whoever lives what? there doesn't mind for a small bit. You like Unless you want me to pull pointless. forward a bit. You've done what you can. Should I pull forward or should I just leave it there? Pull forward, get it ready to go. Right. Might as well just leave. Not if you want to lead us out, hold on, hold If we won't get an answer today, then we can only hope. Please. Can we do at some point. Load up. I suppose we'll wait for one. <sighs> the Despite the seriousness of the situation, what a weird thing to have said to you. Yep. Not something you've really gotten used to. Lord. Airtight. It feels good. Everyone in. Good standards. Let's be off. We're good. We're good. We can only hope that when you send a patrol through here, it's not owned by Dasco's men. Bar. I promise to aid them if they need medical help. So in the time of I mean, need, I have to make good on my word. As picking out the glass and rubbing it with a dry cloth is treating it. Well, Sergeant, we could leave it in there and you'd get infected and then you'd die from some shitty disease. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that you didn't do anything. Hold I'm just saying, you know, Shit. still, you know, fuck Stop. Hurts. In the split second that takes place as you come over the ridge, you see that's a bit of debris and logs leaned on some of the fences have been put in the way. You go to quickly navigate to the left or the right, but you hear a twang rolling. With a three, the horse right in front of you takes the arrow directly to the side of the head, and the two of you there in the front will go tumbling out to the ground while both Dario and Sanders will tumble farther into the cart. Unpause. <sighs> Fuck! <sighs> Weapons! Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking, uh, there it is. You see the one with a Shields on my back, Ladia. Longer weapon. Something that you're not used to, Kyler, but you're fast on your feet, and you go to adapt quickly. You quickly look over to the right while continuing to fight. You see that the others are holding their own. You can focus here. Uh, fuck. The man keeps his distance, testing your defenses, looking for openings. <laughs> He takes a wide swing, aiming for your leg, rolling. 
as he comes in for that swing with a 12 plus 2 from Lottie's modifier. You'll see it coming. You'll leap over the blade and sweep your weapon forward, catching him in the shoulder as a line of blood comes out. Use a man's weapon, you fucking coward. You don't want to talk. As the fighting goes on all around, Dario, as you dispatch the two men with relative ease, you wipe your blade looking to see if any of your comrades need help. And as the one man seems to slide down against the fence, something dark rolls out of their hand at your feet. With a four plus six for your armor with a 12, the resounding explosion from the Sotar's mercy will send you ripping backwards through the remains of the cart and you will take a major injury as your ribs break from the sheer impact. Unpause! <laughs> you use daggers, you fucking pussy! At least I can get in close! Oh, that's an explosion. Yeah, right, look at you now, not close! Rolling. Be my guest! Nine minus four. You feel a lot of you're hearing the shots once more. Your hands are trembling, you can still reach for it, but barely. Try. Multiple cuts you get on the polearm user, and he seems to get angry and egregious and starts swinging more recklessly. He's gonna throw his knife. Understood, Roland. As you throw your knife with a 12, as soon as the polearm is about to come down towards your neck, the knife catches him right in the center of the chest. Blood spurts, and the man roars with anger. Fucking jeez. Check your foot. You see the man throw his polearm, it going sailing over your shoulder towards the approaching Imperial, and with a natural 20, Sanders, you will duck it and move to the side. However, you see him pull his smaller weapon, Kyler, and he starts advancing one more time. Sanders, get Ladia! Adia, stay where you are. I don't want to die. It's okay. I've got you. No. It's not gonna no. happen. Stay where you are. You see the man you were fighting bleeding heavily. As you try to help Ladia, you can tell he's on some sort of performance-enhancing oh, drug. Fuck. It's the only reason why he's still on his feet. Ladia. I'm here, alright? I'm charged to protect you, it's okay. It's okay. He's been dealt with, just... It's okay, I've got you. Look. It's okay. Come on. Ladia? Please. I can keep you safe, but you have to listen to me. Ladia? We can leave. We can get somewhere safe. The sounds of fighting has stopped. The area is safe. It's safe. We can go. Ladia. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't. She doesn't seem to be here. Something terrorist? What is she talking about? <sighs> Fuck. Ladia? Kyla, it's me. Uh, I used to buy bread from you, Adwick. 
You made me a cake once, I didn't eat it. I didn't have time. With a four minus four, you're not here right now. And you book it towards the woods, afraid for your life. Claudia? Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay, you fucking crazy bitch. Even from this distance, you can see the blood dripping from her ears. Some sort of condition or something. She's sprinting out of fear. Oh, you crazy fuck. You hear her struggling at the door to your right. Claudia. Tyler, as you stand here, you look back into the room and you notice something off about that carpet that's laying on the ground. Sanders. Seems to be pushed out of the way. There seems to be a trap door underneath it. You know what's down there. Sanders. She's up and bolted. I assume she's in the cellar. I try to talk her out of it, but she, it's like something's fucking wrong with her. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go down there and make it worse. I got it. If you say Can you so. hold this for me? Thanks. Is it locked? She went down there in a hurry. Oh, that fucking sucks. You good? What the fuck was that? So George Mercy. Broke a rib. Lucky you. Can barely walk. Sure. Did you release the raven? Straight out the mood. No, we came looking for you, Lord. Yeah, I fucking... Well, we don't have a horse, we're kind of stranded. I can't run, unless you feel certain of heading out there all by yourself, and to release that damn thing. I'll try. When Robert Barry you hear a loud wretch from the trap door, like someone about to throw up. Priority is keeping her safe. We have two options. You, Dario, being this close, uh. and easy. Easily smell the stink of rot. <coughs> Fuck. 
As you move closer, Kyler, you can too. You both know what a corpse smells like. Oh no. The opening of that trap door wafts it directly towards you. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I hope Sanders fucking has that nail down. Okay. I'm sure he does. We have two options. We can send the raven from Berlano. Get that, what, five horsemen Erdhardt said we could get? Ride our asses back to Nordis so we can hover over.